Why is everybody hating on the Go programming language? I'm a senior machine learning engineer at Twitch where I've worked with Go for the last four years professionally. And this uptake and hate has really got me interested and I really wanna give my opinion on this topic. So I've noticed that in the recent last couple of months, there's been this surge in hate for the Go programming language. And it's kind of been fueled by different, you know, common posters, these anime PFP individuals that continue to like to dunk on Go, but it's also been fueled by people who actually have credentials under their name, like Mitchell Hashimoto when he was on the Top Shelf podcast, that's Primogen and Tej's podcast, where he basically spoke on why he chose Zig over Go when creating Ghosty, and then followed that up with a dunk questioning Go's purpose in the stack and overall if you would ever go back to the programming language. But then you have people like the creator of Zig, Andrew Kelly, and I found this post on Reddit where I believe he was doing an FAQ, and he basically just said um, that Go is great if you're an amateur with no taste, like 99% of Google employees. And so the first reason I came to the conclusion of why people love to hate on Go is because it is a language for mid or mediocre developers. And this opinion is always shared by the same groups of people who basically enjoy writing lower level programming languages like Rust, Haskell, Zig, but essentially those individuals tie their preferred programming language to their identity. You see, the mere existence of Go basically tells them that your views on what makes a good programming language are wrong. And when more people use Go and talk about Go and ship code with the Go programming language, they feel that they're being told that their choice in programming language and therefore their entire identity is wrong. Therefore, their main defense is to basically insult anybody who uses the programming language as not true or real developers, because Go was actually designed to be simple, and it abstracts a lot of those complexities on purpose and by design. But that Go philosophy of being simple and being pragmatic above all else is the polar opposite of what those previous languages, languages I mentioned earlier embrace, where complexity for finding solutions is actually okay because it enforces quote unquote more correct code. And so some of those things that Go lacks is not incorporating a lot of modern programming theory, uh, such as no pattern matching, no borrowing in the uh, memory management model for the programming language, very different than something like Rust. It's not a functional programming language like OCaml, even though it has functions as first class citizens. It doesn't have option types, doesn't have exceptions. It doesn't have a lot of different features that a lot of these other languages that people really, really love have. So this leads me to my second point, and this is kind of piggybacking off of Mitchell Hashimoto's comment on the Top Shelf podcast, where it doesn't have a place. Because for lower level, more performant critical things, you would probably use something like Rust and Zig. And if you want just something that's more convenient to spin up, uh, he said you'd use something like PHP and even TypeScript. And I think this argument specifically with PHP and TypeScript is where I think there is a definite disconnect because I think when it comes to the conversation of choosing something for a backend, especially for uh, like a web server, when you have options like PHP, Ruby, Go, I think at that time, it really becomes a question of what do you prefer as opposed to what is the best tool for the job because all of them will do the same level of you know functionality as each other. It just really goes down to the person writing the code. But I think when you have something like PHP versus Go versus you know Ruby versus other language, I think really there's no good argument between these because it goes down to personal preference. And for convenience, again, what's more convenient for you is gonna be what, different than what's more convenient for me to spin up right away. I've never written any Ruby. I don't know a thing about Ruby. Ruby on Rails, Ruby, I don't, I have no clue what it is. You can ask Typecraft for that. So that's why I would definitely go with Go. It just, it makes sense to me because for simplicity, Go is just my answer. And as I'm just kind of thinking about this, I actually added these on earlier, that's why they're separate here. I thought of two more reasons. Error handling Go, this was a popular one that kept coming up from the uh, 
tweet I had here in a thread. And I do think that I disagree with this. I think air handling in Go is actually one of its beautiful points. I'm not going to talk about this in this video, but I'm just kind of compiling this list of reasons why people love to hate on Go. So air handling is definitely one that always comes up. Classic, if air does not equal to nil, yada, yada, yada. And then another one is, again, lack of features from other programming languages like enums, some types. I've talked about it here with option types, exceptions, uh, pattern matching. And then you can even throw, you know, prior to go 1.18, no generics. But then as you saw in this tweet, they added it, which some people liked and some people didn't. I personally do not like in, uh, generics. I don't like iterators. Again, very polarizing opinions here. And I really, so all of this really led me down this path of looking at opinions of people that hate Go, but also finding opinions of people who really enjoy Go and love Go. And in this one thread, there's Aiden who actually works at Twitch as well and was a creator of a very popular application all designed with Go. Uh, he says, a lot of those people who complain about the majority of Go's design choices have not shipped stable, large scale production software to which Anthony GG, a, a popular YouTuber, a popular, you know, user of the Go program language also doubled down and said this. And I've, a lot of people say that, you know, the most people that have dunked on Go, there's the others that it says, well, at least I'm shipping with Go, at least I'm able to deliver and do something very quickly while you're continuously rewriting the same thing over and over and over and over again. And so all of this kind of led me to making this diagram of the builder slash shipper versus the programming purist. And if you take away anything from this video, I think this is where the hate boils down to with a lot of different programming languages, not just Go, but Python, TypeScript, you know, PHP had its hate for a long time in 2017, 2018, 2019. So, but it all comes down to people who are focused on building and shipping. They don't care. They just ship. They want money. They want users. A great example is Levels IO, who built a, a, one of his applications that makes like $50,000 a month as a single PHP file. This goes against every programming design engineering concept that you can think of. Just one PHP file and that was it. And then you have the programming purist. And I'm not saying that these are like mutually exclusive, but I am saying that typically an individual would fall into one of these two categories. But a lot of people, they're kind of both. An example of someone who's both is Soding. Uh, he builds and ships and he's a pure programming purist, but he's just a different beast altogether. But back to programming purists, these individuals associate their self-worth with the language, which I've already talked about before, which is why they get so butthurt on things. They hyper fixate on complex programming solutions where they think the more, you know, complex solution is the more sexy, unique a solution is the more they separate themselves from the rest of the herd. Uh, and they are above the simpletons who like to use Python, who like to use Go, who like to use different languages. Um, and, you know, to them, using those languages is just too easy. You know, it's just, it's not real programming. It's not truly what computer science is about. And I don't want to dunk on anyone. I'm not dunking on the programming purists, uh, nor do I think builder and shippers are always good because there's a lot of builders and shippers who would write really shitty software with lots of vulnerabilities. It's not an excuse to just say, oh, I'm going to build and ship something in, in two months. It doesn't excuse the, you know, the effort you have to put into actually attempting to write good software. The main point I'm making is that fixating on the language itself is nothing more than a waste of time in an ego shrug contest over the internet. It does not matter what programming language you want to use. It really doesn't matter. And truly, if I'm being honest, it doesn't really matter if you built 10 apps and none of them have users and none of them have money. As long as you've shipped, as long as you're doing something, and as long as you're happy, I think that is really the key. And so all these kind of arguments and hate towards languages really, I think at the end of the day, it's just projections from the misery individuals have in their day-to-day -day life, whether it's their argument, the inability to get laid, inability to get noticed, anything like that is the projection they have and they have to find something that's an easy life for a lot of them. And that is, in this case, dunking on people who love to use a programming language, who actually get stuff done with said programming language. 
But in the wise words of one of my mentors, and uh, he didn't use this language, he said it much softer in one of his most recent videos, but I'm going to word it like this. It's very simple. Don't be a dick on the internet. It goes a long way to be nice and be kind. So I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and shout out to my mentor, TJ. Links will be in the description. If I mentioned them, thank you guys so much. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Continue shipping, continue doing whatever it is, but stop arguing over the internet. Stop yamming, yapping, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm busy shipping and going to the gym. Bye.